Good morning, uh, good day to all. This is Mike again, bringing you the very latest on the weather analysis across the uh, Philippine Islands for this Thursday to uh, Saturday, December 15th, 17th. We have only uh, 10 days before Christmas. Advance Merry Christmas to all. And this is our uh, English uh, version brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Now let's begin with our update. First, we are going to show to you the uh, graph set that we created yesterday, Wednesday, until today, Thursday. We have the uh, northeast monsoon still affecting the northern portions of the uh, South China and uh, West Philippine Seas, extending across uh, uh, eastern sections of Vietnam. And also, here in the Philippine Islands, it's affecting northern Luzon and uh, Batanes Cove of Islands, so windy condition with uh, the slightly uh, lower temperatures will be expected across these areas. This is due to the uh, strengthening high pressure area over uh, the area of Shanghai, China. And we have a shear line uh, yesterday affecting the Bicol region, but for today, this shear line has moved across the uh, eastern sections of uh, Central Zone, affecting uh, Aurora Province. Northern Quezon and uh, some of the cloudiness is uh, penetrating across the whole of uh, Central Luzon, including Metro Manila. So some diesel showers will be expected, becoming more rainy across Northern Quezon and Aurora Province. And within the next uh, 24 hours, it will uh, migrate upward towards the eastern sections of Isabela and uh, eastern Cagayan. So expect rainy conditions again to occur as the northeast monsoon will start to weaken within the next uh, two days. So the shear line will also shift more to the north. And uh, so expect uh, this kind of weather across the eastern sections of Cagayan Valley. While uh, over at Mindanao, uh, including the offshore uh, Mangsamoro areas and the southern portions of uh, Sulu, and southern Palawan, we expect some cloudiness with uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms brought about by the surface trough. And uh, just watch out for possible uh, thunderstorms with the lightnings and also uh, some possible flooding if we have a, a strong or severe thunderstorms occurring over your area. Thunderstorms will also be uh, in effect over the eastern sections of the zone because of the shear line. There are some developing thunderstorms within that line since it's the uh, uh, meeting of the cold and warm air uh, creating this kind of uh, weather uh, disturbance. Okay, And uh, so far that's the latest from our graph set. Just take note of the risk of flooding and landslides which, which will remain at low to medium across these weather systems. Let's take a look at the fast animation. So there you go. Increasing cloudiness brought about by the shear line is affecting the eastern sections of Luzon and some portions of central Luzon as well, including Metro Manila and the uh, southern Tagalog provinces. Bicol region is uh, having some improvement of the weather until uh, tomorrow, uh, Friday, and maybe through Saturday. And here's the uh, uh, zoom in Saturday animation. This is around uh, uh, oh, 12 midnight until uh, 4 o'clock this uh, morning. So you can observe here the line of that uh, shear affecting uh, the eastern sections of central Luzon. Some cloudiness penetrating over the uh, mainland and western sections of central Luzon as well. Now uh, let's take a look at the uh, wind and pressure forecast from the repair model for the next three days until uh, Saturday. So this afternoon we would expect uh, changing of the winds from the northeast monsoon and it's uh, already weakening and we have now the uh, easterlies here across the eastern sections of uh, Luzon together with that shear line and uh, also Batanes will be affected by, uh, by these uh, easterlies. And by uh, tomorrow afternoon, Friday, the winds will die down and uh, come to uh, light winds from the east will be expected across 
the country. Uh, so far, uh, that will be the uh, weather for Friday, so we expected to enjoy this kind of uh, calmness. And on Saturday, if we look forward, Saturday morning until the afternoon, we have another surge, and this is quite strong. Surge of the northeast monsoon because of a uh, intensifying high pressure area or uh, subtropical high of uh, mainland China. So we expect these uh, winds to uh, reach a high of up to 70 or 80 kph across the uh, coastal waters of extreme northern Luzon. So extreme northern Luzon will get a first glimpse or blast of this uh, surge of the monsoon come Saturday afternoon to the evening. And uh, if we move forward to Sunday, Sunday afternoon, it will dig down across the eastern sections of uh, uh, Luzon, and it, it will also be affecting the inland areas of uh, Luzon, uh, northern and central Luzon, but not much. The winds will be are concentrated along the coastal waters, and it will also affect the Bicol region late Sunday to Monday on what we are observing. But we are on the... Uh, uh, extreme end of this uh, monsoon uh, surge but uh, we expect that uh, some uh, decrease in temperature will be expected over the Bicol region and uh, that's a sign that the uh, uh, the cold winds of the uh, Amihan is uh, fast approaching Bicol region okay so uh, if we uh, take a look now on the uh, rainfall accumulation for the next three days until uh, Saturday. So this is now the uh, rainfall that we are going to observe because of the shear line from the uh, eastern uh, sections of uh, Cagayan down to northern Quezon, including Polidio. So expect rain conditions within the next three days. Uh, and also if we uh, take a look at the uh, rain forecast from the European model, so this, this is now the shear line, okay? Thursday afternoon, more rain over the uh, eastern sections of Luzon. Friday, it will start to weaken. And Saturday morning, we have another uh, developing shear line because of a frontal system in between the monsoon and the other subtropical high here over to the southeast of uh, Japan. Saturday afternoon, that shear line will move downwards, affecting the uh, areas of Cagayan Valley. So you can see some thunderstorms developing across Luzon, particularly northern Luzon. And on uh, Sunday, the shear line will uh, continue to affect Cagayan Valley, and it will... Uh, move downwards across eastern sections of central Luzon once again and into the Bicol region by Sunday evening to Monday. Okay, so uh, whole day Monday we could be uh, in the effects of this uh, shear line. It's a wide swath affecting uh, also the uh, eastern sections of uh, Cagayan Valley down to northern Quezon. So watch out for that because of the surge of the northeast monsoon. We are on the boundary of the easterlies. And this uh, line of uh, rainfall is called as the shear line. Okay. So that's the, uh, old, the old name of that shear line is known as the tail end of a cold front or tail end of a frontal system. So uh, again, that's the uh, latest for the wind and pressure forecast as well as the rain uh, forecast. Now, before we leave you, here's again the uh, latest from the Global Cloud Tropics Hazards, from the Global Tropics Hazards Outlook of the Climate Prediction Center. This is valid for the next two to three weeks. So for uh, the week two, valid uh, December 21 to December 27. This is around Christmas time. We expect, uh, let me see, okay. That will be more than 50% of above average rainfall across the Visayas and Mimaropa and the southern portions of the Bicol region. 
and we don't have any uh, tropical cyclone development. We have here a more than 65% development by uh, the second week or next week across uh, the South uh, Indian Ocean since it's uh, their time, it's their uh, cyclone season beginning November until April, uh, South uh, Indian Ocean as well as the South Pacific Ocean uh, along the coastline of uh, uh, Australia and uh, over uh, Darwin and the Northern Territories as well as the Northwestern portions of uh, Australia there will be uh, more than 50% uh, of a tropical cyclone formation here and also across the uh, uh, Madagascar Strait uh, we expect this uh, kind of uh, development since they, it's uh, the start of their cyclone uh, season now let's take a look on the third week December 28th to January 3 this is uh, the New Year week or New Year's Eve week again the Philippine Islands uh, particularly Luzon, Mimaropa, Bicol region included and uh, some portions of the Visayas will be under the influence of more than 50% of above average rainfall and mainly these are due to the following uh, weather systems the Northeast Monsoon or the Amihan, the shear line as well as possible uh, stunting of the easterlies once again and uh, some uh, passing surface sloughs and low pressure areas uh, will be expected during the week of December 28, 28 to January 3 and mainly because of the La Nina so uh, that's the uh, weather conditions that we are going to expect till the end of 2022 until the early days of 2023 so there you go, that's the latest for today. We will return in the next couple of days. This is Mike Padoas again saying good day, stay safe always, and thank you so much for watching our channel.